Hello, welcome to my Ulta haul. My name is Rayanne. Welcome to the channel. So we did go uh, yesterday on Thursday to Ulta and I got to kind of peruse the store and grab a few things that I've been really interested in trying. And I figured I'd make a video, kind of swatch some stuff, show you guys what I got. No way in, like in no way is this bragging. I'm just very excited about makeup and I know I like watching haul videos just to see, you know, what people got, what, you know, what's on clearance right now, what people think. Before I would go to get something, I'd love to know someone's opinion, so um, prepare yourself, I guess. So uh, one of the first things I got is something that I wanted to replenish. I have the green tea sheets, but these are the, uh, I think just the fresh face ones. They have charcoal ones. I think they have a lavender version. Um, I love them all. They're awesome. NYX is really, really good. I have really oily skin, like I had said before. So these are awesome. I like to uh, use them before I film, repowder a little bit. I definitely don't use them like you're supposed to use them. Midday, you know, oil slick. I, I don't use them. I just eat my lunch and play on my phone. I really should, but then I feel, you know, if anyone saw these in the trash, they'd just be like, that's disgusting because they, they wouldn't understand that oily life, but we oily girls don't uh, age as fast, so that's okay. So next thing I got is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is awesome. I've watched so many people use this for really colorful eye looks which I honestly do want to get more into. I'm so boring with my eyeshadow, so I'm really trying to branch out, really trying to do new techniques. I think it is because I wear glasses pretty much all the time because I'm not allowed to wear contacts right now because of my eye condition that's going on. It's like a magic wand. Um, but screw it. I want to have fun. Um, I'm, I'm going to. So this leads into the next item here. Got the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This was actually on clearance for $10, which is exciting. I'm not going to swatch the the Jumbo Eye Pencil because it's, it's white. Like, there's really nothing that exciting about it. Why is it so hard to open, though? So, there are the colors in real life. Very nice. So, I'm just going to... Finger swatches kind of suck, but they're better than nothing, I guess. Just ignore that last one because it's just not very good. So obviously the lightest one didn't really show up on my skin because I am very pale. That'll give you an idea. Um, I did kind of like stick my fingers in it before and the green in particular is very pigmented and I'm pretty excited for that because you know they always say brown eyes green eyeshadow here's the next ones I mean my hands probably not like the best thing to be swatching on right now and I'm more interested in what they look like on someone's eyes rather than on someone's hand but what are you gonna do I'm going to swatch the last two for good measure here. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy with that. For 10 bucks, like, you, you can't go wrong, you know. Uh, oh, the prices for the blotting sheets. I have the receipt right here. And cha-cha-cha. So the eye pencil is $4.49. The blotting tissue. Oh, it says they're blemish control. That's cool. I have face lumens. Five ninety nine. They are worth it. They do, like you. You get a lot of use out of them. Um. They're awesome. You you can't go wrong with blotting sheets. You're always gonna need blotting sheets. I mean, I am at least. So next thing I have is the. Mm, you can't see that. Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. I got color F one because I am very pale. That looks kind of greasy to me. I don't know, it's shiny, but so is my face, so whatever. A little swatch. I mean, maybe I could have gone a little darker, but I don't know if this oxidizes, so I didn't want to go like way too dark. 
I blended it in a little bit. It does seem to, to lay pretty nicely. And it doesn't feel really greasy. It doesn't feel super heavy or that it would have that, like, you know, sometimes you swatch a foundation, you're like, that's going to be cakey. I know that already. I didn't get that vibe off of it. I know um, a lot of influencers that I watch do really like that stick. So I'm excited about that. That costs nine dollars like it's such an economical price how can you go wrong you know well no you can go really wrong but i i'm excited so this is the lottie stamp liner and i got the one with little hearts because it's precious and this was on sale in the clearance bin for seven dollars and 49 cents which really isn't that much of a sale but you know, I, I don't know what it was normally and it comes with a stamper. So that's precious. That is so cute. Okay. That is so cute. If nothing else for those little hearts. Yes. And the liner does look like it's nice and pigmented and it dried really fast and I'm smudging pretty hard and it's not like going anywhere oh the hearts did make a liar out of me but I mean like are you really gonna put this on and then just like grind your face against your hand no you're gonna be careful when you're wearing makeup if you have to hug someone that's just that's just makeup so next is my ride or die benefit roller lash um am I holding that upside down sure am there you go I always get it in black I mean, I, I think it would look funny if I got it in brown because it's just, that's not what I'm used to seeing on myself. But this stuff's amazing. Um, I found out about this by watching Jeffree Star as he swears by this. And now I swear by this because it's just so good. I have tried so many samples of mascaras in my play box and nothing compares to this. Uh, I love it so much. It's so good. The brush is so cool. Everything is just... The formula is great. I don't curl my eyelashes typically. There's the brush. It's a little funny looking, but yeah, let's put it on my forehead. There you go. It, it is a little strange looking. A lot of people aren't big fans of that style of brush. They want like the thicker bristles or more spaced apart bristles. This is just like, this is the greatest mascara I've ever used to this point. I don't want to jinx it. There could be a better mascara, but I love this mascara. So that, I got two high-end beauty products, two luxury beauty products. Um, the Roller Lash does retail for $24, and it is worth every cent in my opinion. I love it. It's so good. It never lets me down, literally. My eye doesn't let my eyelashes down. Um, next thing we have is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner my first time trying out this beauty I've heard a lot about it I got it in intense black because I'm very intense not not really so I've heard that the liner quality itself the way that it dries it's not like overly shiny it's not overly matte it's not patchy it doesn't tug you get a good wing with it it doesn't transfer these are all things I'm super they're, they're selling points to me so I'm very 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 excited so, yeah, that is a nice liner. That went on nice and opaque. Very excited about that. The first tiny line was just dragging it across. The second one was a little more pressure just to see how it would react. And, I mean, so far so good. I can't wait to try that out. It looks like it might take just a tiny bit longer to dry. It did smudge when I dragged my finger across it. But again, you're not going to do a wing and then just like, ugh, because that's dumb. Don't do that. That does retail for $22. And hopefully it's worth it because I'm really excited to try that. So the um, last actual like product of makeup, because I have brushes and then I have a skincare that I bought, that I got is this uh, liquid lipstick. And I did wear it yesterday in the Loot Crate unboxing. 
just because I wanted to try it. And um, it's by Sleek, I believe. It's hard to read the writing. It is by Sleek. This is the Vino Tino. I was so excited to try this. And I wore it for the entire unboxing video. And I was in hell because it sucked all of the moisture out of my lips. Yet it was still tacky. So it was really uncomfortable. And like the corners of my mouth, anytime they touched, it would like have that tacky pulling feeling. And that's like honestly so uncomfortable. And that's not even the worst part. So it did take a lot to build it up, which I was not super happy about. And then I was trying to keep my, you know, my mouth open while it was drying, but it was patchy. It would not dry. And then I realized that it just didn't dry because it was like, like the Sahara, but tacky. So when I wanted to remove it after we were done, I then realized how painful it was to remove. It just kept clinging to my lip line and smearing and then it would just stain around my mouth, which is great because I had to work today and was paranoid the whole day. Like people are just like looking at me and there's just this ring of pink staining, you know, like I just, I, I can't, if there's a trick with this stuff, please let me know because it was so horrible and uncomfortable and I just... No, don't get this. It's bad. It was on clearance, but there's way better things on clearance. And I sometimes fall for that like, oh, it's on clearance. I should buy it. Don't, no, you shouldn't. Don't do that. How much was this? I might, like, I don't return things, but I might actually return it just because I'm never going to be able to wear it again. It's like, it hurts. I hate it. I can't find it on here. Um, oh, there, no, no, maybe I can't find the price on here. Oh, I found it. It was $3.99 on sale, but like, maybe it's just the formula for that color, but I just, I hate it. I cannot wear that. That's terrible. Anyways, the skincare item that I got is the Vici Idealius. Uh, skin sleep so it is a uh, skincare product I got it on sale for $8.75 and from what I've read on it in its tiny teeny tiny little writing it's essentially a sleeping pack and there's a mirror on top oh that's nice that's really pretty like I might keep this when it's done just because of how pretty it is I'm a sucker for packaging. Is there a reason why there's a mirror on the top? It doesn't say. But, um, I'm definitely going to, uh, review how I feel about this. There's directions on the inside of the carton, it looks like. Which is kind of weird. Who's gonna look in there? You see that? It's strange. Had I not peeked, I would not have known. So, it's showing you how to apply it, kind of, with tiny, tiny little pictures. Detailed application method included. Cool. So, I will... I'm probably not going to follow that. I'm going to have uh, someone else tell me what it says. But, yeah, $8.75. I'm excited. It's a gel balm, so my skin's probably really going to dig that because I am really oily. I'm not going to wake up just like grease, which is cool. So, it's supposed to help skin mimic the signs of deep sleep. We'll see about that. I typically have to get up at 5 in the morning for work. So... You know when you have to get up really early for work and your body's just like, you know, it'd be cool if you didn't sleep. That's me. So I got some Morphe brushes because I am elated that uh, Ulta is now carrying Morphe brushes. I'd gotten the highlighter brush that like everyone uses a few months ago, I think. So 
This is the Morphe M530 and it's beautiful and I'm so excited and cannot wait to use it. Just a uh, new brush feeling. I need to clean them though. I feel like you always kind of want to clean new brushes even if you think that oh they're packaged they're fine. Don't take any chances with your skin ever. Just err on the, the side of safety. So I got this one is the M433. It's all of the uh, the blending brushes I have and crease brushes are pretty big. They're MAC brushes. I can't even see which MAC brushes they are because they're so um, well loved, let's say, and I've worn everything off of them. So there's that guy. I'll bring it down here like maybe on my shirt you can see it. But it's really, really nice. Feels great. Can't wait to use it. Can't wait to wash it. Next brush I got is the M506. This is a teeny tiny little taper guy. And I can't figure out which end I'm supposed to open because I am so smart. Nope. Gonna bust out the end. There we go. So. There's that guy. Oh, they feel so good. Like, is there any better feeling than new brushes? No. There probably is. But for me, in this moment, that's what I'm excited about. And this one is the M124. It's a little packer brush. And I kind of held this one in the store for a little bit and tried to figure out if it was maybe a little too small. But sometimes I think any packer brush that I get ends up being a little too big for my eyes because they're really not that big. And then everything gets really hard to blend. I don't know if I'm the only one. Give you guys some close-ups on these beauties. I'm so excited for this one in particular. This one is so neat. I don't have any brushes like that. I have blender brushes, but not like that. And it's just so nice and looks so full. So, I think that's it. Oh, there is one thing. I got this from Amazon, though, so this doesn't count as part of the Ulta haul, I guess. I got these magic pads. Some more skincare, because I can't stop, and I love skincare. They're daily use. Um, they're supposed to be gentle daily exfoliating pads exfoliating pads for the treatment of blemishes and unnecessary signs of aging. I like how that says unnecessary. It says you can use it one to three times a day, but if you're sensitive, maybe just try once a day and see how you go from there. This is made by Magic Beauty. This has really, really good reviews, really good ratings on Amazon, so I wanted to give it a shot and, uh, Probably after I review all the, the stuff from the Sephora play box, I will give this a try just so there's no, you know, variants that I'm, my skin's not used to, to see how it reacts, how I do, how sensitive I am. But, um, oh, I forgot to say the prices of the brushes. So I'll run through that quick. So the 433, $6. The M124 is four dollars cha 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 the m530 is ten dollars the m506 is six dollars and we spent a lot of money at ulta do you guys prefer one over the other do you like ulta more than sephora do you like sephora more than ulta let me know what you think have you tried any of the products or the brushes or the skincare that i got from uh, Ulta. What were your thoughts? Have you tried this demon lipstick? Did you have the same problem? Did it just dry the absolute life out of your skin? Let me know. Are there any products that you're super excited for that you cannot wait to get as soon as you get that paycheck? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Maybe we share the same interests. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to like the video if you did like the video. 
and always leave me a comment. I'd love to chat with you in the comments. Uh, hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads. And if you would like to follow me on Facebook, you can find me Reanimator Reviews, and you can also find me on Twitter at Reanimator. And I'm going to go clean some brushes and play with some makeup, and I hope you guys have a great day.